Well, in the age of social media, there are so many different ways for people to find love. But what about finding your soulmate in an Uber? Greg Argos joins us now, and Greg, could carpooling be the new matchmaking? Well, Jess, it's not quite there yet, but it worked for one Philadelphia couple. They pulled out their phones last December and ordered an Uber pool ride home. They ended up in the same car, hit it off, and they're now planning their wedding. You use a ride-sharing app to get picked up. But have you ever thought about using it to pick someone up? This Philly couple sharing an Uber pool hit it off and now plan to get married next year. I think it's awesome. And it has many asking. Can I please get in that Uber pool? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be amazing. Some people are good. Some people like the conversation. As an Uber driver for the past two years, Ed Spearman has seen it all, including plenty of backseat banter. They're flirting with the person that gets in. Yeah, but it didn't go so good though. When he was buttoned in, he was like indirectly making passes at her. But he has also seen some moves that work. You consider yourself a matchmaker? <laughs> if I can help somebody, you know, find love, ride around, talking to them, and shoot the breeze, sure. Like, say, yeah, you can say that. I think ride chairs are a great way to meet people no matter what you're looking for. Erica Kaplan, a senior matchmaker for 3dayrule.com. We work with busy professionals to help them find what they're looking for. Says the dating apps are great, but meeting someone organically can be even more exciting. People need to just pick up their head and smile at each other. Or in the case of your next Uber pool ride, maybe flash that smile while scooting over to make room for your next date. I mean, if it's the right time and the right place, it doesn't matter where you're at. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty loose. The beauty of dating and relationships is do what works for you. So if that works for you, have at it. I love the spontaneity of it. Now, experts say the key in all of this is don't limit yourself just to dating apps or websites and be open to meeting people in unconventional places and ways like on the ride home from work. We well, just okay. gotta be open to it, yeah, right? Just get like off your phone, order the Uber, get off right. your phone, and right. talk to the person in your car. Do what right? works for you. Great, all right, Greg, thank you.